take it. <laughs> We're not... Oh man, all right. What's that? You booked out of me. Now you're stuck here every Wednesday, 7 to 9. Uh, sign up on three mics, right? Okay. Right. Uh, Nathan, you're on deck. But right now, put your hands together. Welcome to the stage, Steve Yenzel. You know, I'll shake John's hand. I don't care if he's got corona. I I'm good with that. And Dave, you know what you were just talking about, like the old folks home, the, the cutting off stuff, the drugs and shit? When I know that I'm bad, I'm getting a one-way ticket to Alaska. Did you guys see the Grizzly Man documentary? No. You, you gotta, it's good, watch it. So anyways, this guy goes up and he's petting the Grizzlies, and he goes with his wife, it'd be like you and him going together, all right? And the, but the thing was, he was crazy, all right? But then the girlfriend was just kind of going along with it. But then like, uh, so anyways, they stayed too long, there wasn't enough salmon, and they got fucking eaten. But the thing is, is Warner Herzog won't release it, but there's actual audio of them being attacked and eaten. But he'll never release that, he said, or whatever the hell, but like, I don't know, man. I don't think it would be so bad to be eaten by bears, just so you know. Because I think they're, they're really good predators, you know? If you're squirming and stuff like that, they're gonna crunch, and I think that I think you're just gonna you're gonna be gone pretty quick, man. I don't know. That's my hypothesis. I don't know. Yeah, what do I know? <sighs> so that's the way I'm going out. I work at a medical school, and actually, this is crazy. But all week it's been like empty. So I go in, and I basically have this job. I moved. I moved six boxes today. That was my day. Everything else is jacking on the computer or trying to write material, of which I'll share some in a minute, or uh, or doing whatever the heck. I don't know, I just can't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways. All right, now, now it's time for my fun, stupid stuff, all right? Um, you guys know who Elizabeth Bathory is? Nope. Okay, Elizabeth Bathory was oh, this yeah. Yeah, so there's... there's she was she's a serial killer, but like she was like she was a hundred years after Romania and Hungary are right here. So you had two different dudes a hundred years before you had Vlad the Impaler. So he was this dude who went he's the he's who Dracula is based on. And so they would kill people and then they would leave people on these stakes and then people would be like, fuck that, I'm not going in there, you know? But so that's like that's who Dracula is based on. And then they poison pe they poison the water and they do some fucked up, cruel, cool shit. Now that's Vlad the Impaler. I still haven't worked on the punchline with that one, but I'm working on it. But then, a hundred years afterwards, this lady, there's this lady who's, her name's Elizabeth Bathory, all right? And so I don't know if you know how royal families are, but you gotta fuck your sister. We keep, we're our cousin. We gotta keep this in the family. So then they're all fucked up. They've got all these blood diseases and all this other stuff. So this chick, Elizabeth Bathory, I'm telling you about, she, uh, she would hire all these peasant girls, all right? And so the peasant girls, you would basically sell your daughter, whoever, into servitude, and you'd go work for this lady, all right? But if you did any little fuck-ups, like, say you were combing her hair and you pulled her hair, or you were stitching something and one of the stitches were off, she would kill and torture you. And so, like, she did this to, like, she did this to, like, 600 different girls, all right? And then the families would ask, it's, hey, How's Susie doing? And then they, they, they'd be just like, oh, she died of cholera or whatever. That's what they'd say. But then, like the thing was, they didn't even display. They threw bodies over the wall. And there'd just be dead bodies hanging out there and stuff like that. So um, anyways, so what happened is the only reason this lady got caught is because she got, she got caught because all the poor white people died. All right? All the poor white people in this thing were gone. And they really, you, that's kind of, that's where I come from. And so the thing is, they're all, they're all dead, all right? So then what happened was, she needed another person. So she hired like an Ivanka Trump, all right? So like, the thing is, once some royal person got got, then they're like, what the fuck's up? So then they went in, found out they were torturing all this. She had, she had two large size, just girl, regular lady assistants who did a lot of the handiwork. And she had one little Tyrion midget dude that worked for him, yeah. So like, um, 
All those guys got like beheaded. T Tyrion dude just got beheaded and thrown in the fire, all right? But the two ladies, they did the same shit that they, they were doing to people. So they pulled their fingers out. They, it was just like, you can go, I gotta go into graphic detail on it, but it's just like, it's fucked up and like this. So anyways, can I just tell you something? This comes back to slavery. Listen, all right? <laughs> slavery in this country was bad, but it wasn't that bad. You wanna know why? Because people are here to bitch about it. So hello. I guess that didn't work, folks. I'm trying. <laughs> can, I, can I do my other bit? All right, I got this. I did this bit. I wrote this one today, guys. This is off hot off the presses. No. Oh, you know what? You can't. I'm sorry today. I'm sorry, guys. You know what? You can't yawn like that. You know why? If you do that in Grand Teton National Park, some female moose is gonna come out of nowhere and say, "Hey, I want fucking." But the problem is, you know what? Female moose pussy. Moose pussy's up here. And unless you got a step stool or whatever, my dick's down here. Who, who's walking around with a stump or uh, who's doing that? Hey, and guess what? When she, a moose dick is like this. My dick is like this. So maybe like this. I don't know. And, and so like a moose, how are you going to satisfy a moose? You can't satisfy a moose. Say it doesn't, and she, you know what, like, say you're fucking from behind, she turns around and she's looking at you, she's like, really? Either you're gonna get kicked in the nuts, or something. Maybe this moose really likes you. Maybe you guys hook up. You have to go to, one minute or about? Oh, one minute. One minute, okay. Um, maybe this moose really likes you and stuff, but then, you know, like, you gotta go back here for the business, on the stool, and then you gotta go to the front and say, whisper sweet nothings in your ear, because you can't just, you can't work into it with nothing. I don't know. And say it, whatever. You gotta take her to restaurants, vegan restaurants. That's all you can eat. <laughs> Mooses eat a lot of salad. It's gonna put me out of house and home. Hey, how's that for some writing today, hey? Thank you guys, you've been great.